Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Dave Guerra here. Welcome. This Vet Cooks. That's the name of the show. And that's what I do. So, welcome. Hey, listen, before we go any further, make sure you're following us on Twitter. Again, at This Vet Cooks. Also on Facebook, facebook.com slash This Vet Cooks. So, oh, and soon coming to Instagram. So, check us out there. But in the meantime, listen, thank you, everyone that's watched the first episode. This is now episode two or season two. Or not season two, season one, episode two, the second episode, or just the second episode. <clears throat> no season required. Anyway, speaking of seasoning, we got some great stuff online for today. Today's recipe, it's um, chicken and rice. But chicken and mushroom, cream of mushroom, rice, and it goes in the oven. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be a quick one. It's one of my all-time favorites. I have a lot of all-time favorites. But this one definitely ranks up there because it's kind of it's creamy, it's gravy, but it's not gravy, it's creamy because it's cream and mushroom. It's got chicken, it's got rice, and uh, you know what? It makes an excellent Sunday night dinner. So we are recording this on a Sunday night for Sunday night dinner. So again, when you see it, something to think about for this coming Saturday or Sunday night or Saturday or Friday night or whatever. Anyway, so uh, again, let's get started. What have we got? Oh, before I get going, um, what is our first um, up? First thing, well, what are we drinking this afternoon? We're drinking a little Jack and Coke. Jack and Coke, Jack Daniels is the old go-to. Cut my teeth on this, ooh, by many years ago. And as you can see, still working on that same bottle. Uh, oh, there it is. No, I'm kidding, it's been numerous bottles since then. But today it's Jack and Coke, so cheers everyone. Again, to uh, everyone out there drinking Jack and Coke, cheers. You can't do that on TV. You cannot drink. You can't be shown drinking, I guess, like beer and stuff like that. Uh, commercials. Have you ever seen someone actually taking a swig of beer? No, they kind of hold it and do that. Well, they can't do it. But guess what? On my show, I'm doing it So because it's my show. So again, thanks for watching. So Jack and Coke, and we'll, let's see what we can do about finishing this thing up before uh, I even start putting things into the, uh, or reach the oven. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's, let's figure out what we need to do. All right, so before we do anything, we got to do the ingredients. So let's figure out what we're going to have. Well, obviously, uh, chicken in a bag. No, the bag is just to keep it. Uh, it was frozen. We got it from the grocery store. You got to freeze. You can't leave it laying around. Ugh. Anyway, uh, so there it is. It's uh, thighs. We're using uh, the, the recipe calls for six, but we're cutting it down because we're going to do just four thighs. Oh, we're going to do seven thighs. Sorry about that. I had to check with my producer director, the lovely Mrs. This Vet, this vet Cooks. And uh, so it's seven. So we're not cutting the recipe at all. Okay, so there we go. Seven thighs. And again, chicken thighs thawed. We're going to do some. We're going to fry them up a little bit just to give them a little brown. Let's seal them up a little bit before we actually put them in the oven. So we're going to brown them. Okay, so we got that. Chicken thighs. Then we have some... Uh, Onion dip uh, packet, this is give us a little bit of flavor. Of course, some pepper, ground pepper. We have some salt, always a uh, little salt. Anyway, uh, what else have we got? Oh, we're gonna throw in some mushrooms, can of mushrooms, again, drain them. Now you can use fresh mushrooms, it's up to you, it doesn't matter. I like these mushrooms, so uh, keep your comments to yourself. Alrighty, next, uh, cream of mushroom. And uh, a cup, one cup of rice, uncooked rice. It's got to be uncooked. Do not cook it. Do not part cook it. Don't do anything else. Just one cup of rice. And a little, just for the chicken itself. This is for the chicken. The onion mix is what's going to go into the uh, mixture of the chicken, the rice, the, the uh, cream of mushroom. But we're going to add this Tony Chichir's original Creole seasoning. Uh, Tony Chichir says it's great on everything. So we'll see about that there, Tony. That's what he says. It says, great on everything. And uh, again, so just I guess it just says uh, we have a spice level for every... Oh, no, this is the reg original flavor, so there is none. And directions, use like salt. When it's salty enough, it's seasoned to perfection. Keep container closed when not in use. So there we go. That's the direction. So we're going to do that just to the chicken. And we're going to do a little bit of oil at the bottom of the pan just to, you know, get things frying. And uh, you know what? Let's go over here. Okay, so while the pan is heating up, we're going to go ahead and season the uh, chicken, again, very lightly. Salt, pepper, and some of the Tony Chichir's Creole seasoning. We're going to put that over the top, again, just to add a little color. Do a little something magic to the, uh, to the skin of the chicken, thighs. And I know we said seven, but we uh, opted out of... Um, 
all seven because what we're doing is we're making this a one skillet meal and the skillet's going to go in the oven so make sure you use a skillet that actually goes and it's made for the oven and we're only going to do seven I mean five of the seven and this is smelling good already and do we want to put it skin side down first yes we do I know I'm spilling more than I'm putting on the, the chicken. It looks like we're going to have to make some more for the flip side, so here we go. Okay, we've already got three in. We're just uh, finishing up on the uh, seasoning on the bottom, on the underneath. I'm just going to go a little light with that. We're not worried about the salt and the pepper at this point. It's more of the skin to help draw out and crisp in the skin. Wow. Okay, so we've turned them over after a couple of minutes in the frying there. You see they browned up pretty nicely. Skin's gotten nice and tight. Uh, but there's still some pink and that's okay because it's going to go in a 350 degree oven. So we should have no problem with this. Okay, so I turned off the heat. It's gradually come down. So now it's time to take the chicken out of the pan and... You can see how well it's all browned up. Nice. There we go. That looks nice. It smells great. The chicken's good to go. Now we're going to start adding our additional seasoning so we've got uh, salt and pepper is already in there but you know what a little bit more doesn't hurt so we'll grind up a little bit more pepper here and just share it share the wealth there oh yeah that's plenty of pepper looking great so we're done with that oh it smells great and and some salt And that takes care of that. Next we add our, our mushrooms, our canned mushrooms. And now they're going to be a little wet, so make sure you drain the can. Otherwise you're going to have water in there a little bit too early. Next is the, uh, the cream of mushroom. That's what it looks like after the lid's been popped. And here we go ahead and bring this in. And you see how it's kind of almost like a gelatinous feel to it. Guess what? Yep. And especially because we're using rice, we're going to have to add maybe about a can of water. Already, so here we go. Can of water. And again, it's to help break down. Oops, the um, cream of mushroom and anything else that comes out with it. So it's going to be wow. It's going to be kind of clumpy, but that's all right. Oh, picking up some of that burnt. Um, you're gonna need more. Yeah, we'll just eye it here. See how it breaks down. Ah, thank you. We're gonna use the uh, holiday whisk. You see that Christmas tree in there? The holiday whisk. Don't worry, it does not affect the batter that you whisk. 
It doesn't turn it into a Christmas form, but it's kind of festive. And hey, it's July, and you know what's going on, right? Hallmark Channel, Christmas movies, QVC, Home Shopping Network, all full of the Christmas and July stuff. So hey, why not? No, I don't think we bought these. I think we bought these at our local Dollar General. But hey, tis the season, right? Ho, ho, ho. And yeah, it's officially under six months. So coming rapidly on five months. This is going to be an interesting holiday season under COVID rules. But that's all right. Wait till you see the... I'm giving up my family secret for the first time ever, and I'm going to do it on this show. So. All right, so there it is. See? No Christmas trees inside. No Christmas trees were harmed in the making of this filling. All righty. Yes, no in the water? We good? You know what? Yeah, we'll add just a little bit more. Thank you. Checking in with the director. There we go. But yes, all the little clumps from the uh, cream of mushroom have broken down. And um, now we add the onion soup mix. Now why the onion soup mix? Because we didn't add any onions to begin with. And uh, this also is going to be a big indicator of just how much more water we're going to need to add after this because again this is dry ingredient going in there smells great wow now it's really turning into a gravy so just a tad bit more water i think is all we're going to need and we should be good to go now remind you i'm doing this without with the residual heat of the uh, metal pan and the stove top so there is, the heat is not on at this point because it's about to enter a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. We're going to give it a check and uh, we should be good to go. Whoa, getting ahead of myself here. Stuff wants to jump out of the, out of the skillet. All right, now we're going to add our rice. But Dave, when do you add the chicken? On top of the rice, on top of the rice. There you go. Sorry about that. Here we go. Going to evenly distribute as best as we can. And yes, it's just one cup of rice. Does not look like a lot, but it does go a long way. There we go. Stir, stir one more time. And actually, I don't need the whisk. I don't want that all. There we go. I'm going to even it out out here. Wow, it feels good, feels um, feels thick. And you know what? Folks, it's official. It turned out to be two cans of water. Oh, it was a half a can, I'm sorry. I didn't see it, I got ahead of myself. Well, we used the can twice. There's the two can part of it. Uh, once full of water, the second time half of water, so. And the can is a uh, 10 and a half ounce can, so. 16, almost 17 ounces, give or take. Yeah. Okay, so now we're ready. Throw in the chicken. And no, we don't throw it in. We carefully put it. Whoa, it's. Yeah, see, that's the one thing I don't like about these silicone uh, ends. Once they, uh, they're a little harder to keep the grip on. But one, there it is. There that one is. Oh, look at that. There it is. It's full. Noodles, rice, skins up on top. So if you still want that, that skin, there you go. You're good to go. Okay, our 200, 300, sorry, 350 degree oven is good to go. In it goes now. We're going to cover it though. We're going to cover it up and then it'll go in. Do not put it in there uncovered. And folks, the skillet that you use, make sure it's rated for the oven. You don't want to have like this mess uh, and then you don't have any dinner. And how can you have your dinner if all you have is a mess? Topping things off, you got to top it off because hey, you don't want to let this go to waste. Then again, you don't want this to go to waste either. So a little bit goes a long way. Hey, listen, a couple of things I want to share with you. Um, hey, listen, do you like the, uh, the show 90 Day Fiance? Life After 90 Days, um, documentaries, 
what else uh what else do they watch they watch a bunch of stuff my brother's got a cool show my brother and his wife my sister-in-law they both have a show together and it's a twice a week show it's called talking shenanigans talking shenanigans with a z whoops i should have said that that's what it should look like on your screen with a z talking shenanigans i got that stuff down here at the bottom and uh, watch it it's a pretty cool show it's here on youtube i'll put the link on my uh, on the youtube channel and uh, also on the twitter and on the facebook so be sure you check it out uh, it's a lot of fun they they have trust me i'm just having a jack and uh a jack and coke and uh, they do a couple more things they do shots and anyway it's awesome so pop that bottle pop that can cheers brother cheers sister oh that's good and uh one other thing definitely want to share with you and i know i mentioned it in the first episode definitely want to continue to mention it because it is that important it is truly that important that's the veterans crisis line hey look there's people that are trained professionals out there to listen, to talk to you, to help you 24-7. It's an anonymous call 24-7. That's 1-800-273-8255. When you hear the automated attendant, hit the number one. You know, what's one more number? I mean, you've dialed 1-800-273-8255. What's one more number? And that number is the number one. But when you get to them, talk to them. That's what they're there to do. That's what that's what they're paid to do. That's, what, that's why the whole thing was set up is to talk to you. You need some help something's not going right something's just got you a little off talk to them that's what they're there for hey it's better to reach out so reach out please reach out um other than that you know make the call seriously i don't know what more to say i can't beg you i can't say hey you got to do it hey they, they say you got to do it first sergeant says you got to do it you know again just make the call it's that important it's that important to me that's why i include it in this show because i'm thinking about you you know you're important to me you're a vet just like i am and you know what we got to look for you got to we got to look out for each other and watch each other six because hey sometimes people don't do that in the real in the real world in the free in the what else do we call it back in the world there we go and uh so no we got to take care of each other so again make that call 1-800-273-8255 press the number one when you get the answer Okay, 45 minutes, done and gone, and here we go. Let's go ahead, we just took it out of the oven. Don't forget to use your pot holders. There we go, no problems there. Looks great. Uh, I, am in, I am in negotiations with my son on getting the Smell app up and running. So here we go, we're gonna give it a stirry stir. Looks like rice is nice and thick. And really, that's what we're looking for. Making sure, absolutely certain that the rice is done. Don't really have much room to do any kind of stirring. But what you can stir, you should. Kind of move things around. Look at those onion, uh, onions. Look at those um, mushrooms. All right, let's take a look at the... Um, looks good. A little creamy, a little gravyish. Rice is done to perfection. It's not mushy. It's not um, gritty or, or it's, you know, it, there's no bite back to it. It's fantastic. The flavor is, oh, maybe we did it a little bit overboard with the Tony Chichiri's, Chichiri's uh, Cajun Creole seasoning. But hey, um, you know what? We're going to let this cool down just for a wee bit and uh, it's dinner time. It is dinner time. And... Um, so there, there's that mushroom, and there's that chicken, and it's still crisp. You see the uh, skin up on top? Yeah, time for dinner. All right, so we moved it from the oven. Got it here. We're going to let it rest. Uh, recommendation is to go ahead and take the cover off, let it rest about 5-10 minutes. Just let the juices all settle. You don't want things boiling around as you're trying to scoop it out. And you definitely need it to, uh, well, to settle. Here it is again. Um, it, it's a little extra juicy that some of the, the juices from the chicken did, did come out. And I think you, I did taste a lot of that. I tasted a lot of spice, a lot of good, good spice, good stuff. But um, I, my mouth is watering. I can't wait to dive in um, again. So the pairing, what do you drink with this? You know what? Water. Plenty of water. Stay hydrated. It's summertime. First sergeant says drink, drink the... Uh, Drink the water, stay hydrated. Sergeant Major says that too, and I know there's a Sergeant Major out there watching. Thank you for watching. Do appreciate it there. Um, listen, just whatever you want. Soda, put a straw in this and you're off and running. Doesn't matter. 
it's good food. It tastes great. It's quick. You saw it took about uh, all together, maybe about, uh, see, 45 minutes in the oven, another 30 minutes. So about, yeah, give or take, you know, a little bit over an uh, hour and a half. Yeah, give, give it about an hour and a half, 90 minutes all together when it's all said and done. That's prep also, or, you know, getting everything together. Um, it's going to be good. I can smell it right now. And uh, so that's pretty much that for this week, this second episode. It's uh, chicken, rice, one pot dish, one skillet dish. I love those. Those are a little bit easier to deal with. So try not to get stuff to burn. It's easier to clean too. But other than that, uh, listen, again, whatever you want to drink with this, wine, beer, water, soda, uh, uh, Kool-Aid, uh, fruit punch, the fruit punch, the high C fruit punch. Remember those guys? Remember those commercials? The guy with the little, anyway, uh, whatever you want to drink. Enjoy. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. And don't forget, uh, follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, and coming real soon onto uh, Instagram. My name is Dave Guerra, and this vet cooks.